Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to another one of my videos. Today we are talking about how to talk to cold prospects for accountants. So first of all, welcome ladies and gentlemen, I'm Fani Nodia and I'm the Managing Director for Buzznet Direct. And we help overworked accountants that's constantly struggling with marketing and sales to get more of a constant stream of their ideal clients. So let's jump right into today's training about how to talk to cold prospects for accountants. So there's a lot of accountants that are constantly asking me, well, if I'm approaching my prospects, what should I say to them? I'm like, okay, what have you done so far? Well, I've contacted 300 people and not a single one signed up with me. And I'm like, okay, what do you tell them? So they say, no, no, I told them I do accounting services. Well, there's your problem. See, if you're not actively searching for an accountant, you have no idea what accounting services are. If you're a small business owner, and you're not constantly or at this very moment searching for an accountant, you are not really in need of accounting services in your own mind because you have no idea what they do. Most people and most businesses don't even have an idea of what accounting services are, so they don't really resonate with that message of I can provide you with accounting services. So the first thing is that you should think about, well, if it's a cold prospect, meaning it's not someone that contacted you for your services, it's someone that you just approached. Either you approached them on the phone call or in, a, in their offices or you went to see them or whatever it is. If they're not expecting your call or if they're not expecting to have a conversation with you, it's basically a cold prospect. So the first thing that you should be thinking about is what do you want from that conversation? So... The thing is, is you don't want to close that person in that conversation as a new client because it's cold. They don't really know you. They don't really know what you're offering and so forth. So the, the thing that you want to do is you don't want to waste a bunch of their time. You want to have a 10 to 15 minute chat and that's all. That's all you want to be doing and your main thing that you want from that conversation is to schedule a follow-up meeting where you can spend 30 to 45 minutes with them basically going through their business, going through a deeper dive in their business to see how exactly you can help them. So your main purpose for that conversation is to schedule a follow-up meeting. And the second thing you should be thinking about is what do they want from that conversation? So they usually don't want anything because they don't know the conversation is going to happen. So they don't have a preconceived thing in their mind about, okay, I want this from you. or I want something from you from this conversation. That changes when you basically start focusing on some problems they have. So let's say, for example, you bring up a problem they could possibly have or they have at this moment. If you're going through a, a niche at this moment and you're thinking, you're talking to everybody and you know this one single problem, let's say, for example, they're losing money in something. They're losing money through staff that's basically not optimized or they're doing stock taking wrong or mismanaging products or, you know, anything like that, restock, something along those lines, you know, they're constantly losing money from that thing. So you're thinking about, okay, maybe, maybe I can, I can help them with this problem. Maybe I can solve this problem for them, but you first need to bring up that problem. You should, well, I usually work with a lot of guys like you, whether it's now tech, in uh, tech uh, entrepreneurs or it's retail or it's engineers or it's, you know, small spa shops. It doesn't matter what your niche is or it's now physiotherapies or what. It depends on what their problem is. So if you think, well, don't, I, I've usually worked with a lot of physiotherapists and I, I, I realize that there's this, this problem that they're constantly losing money with this one thing. If you're bringing that up and it's a problem for them as well, they're going to think, yes, I, how's the struggle with this? You know, tell me a little bit more about this. And then you don't want to then you want, don't want to just throw your solution in their face. You want to create some intrigue about your solution. So you want to talk about your previous clients. You want to talk about some results that you've gotten for other clients. Because then that person starts thinking, well, maybe, maybe I should talk to this guy because maybe he can solve this problem for me if that's a painful enough problem. So you want to focus on the problems and pains in that conversation. As soon as he thinks, well, this could probably merit a longer conversation, but I don't really have the time right now. Maybe we should schedule a follow-up meeting. So then you say, oh, well, once you've talked about your results and your other clients think, well, is this something that you would be interested in? So is this something that you would be thinking about? The guy's like, yeah, I also have this problem. I think, yeah, I could probably use some results like that. You say, well, 
this is gonna, what I'm going to do for you. Let's, let's schedule a call for somewhere next week or somewhere down the week where we can just sit down and have a discussion about your business and see exactly where your problems are and how we can possibly fix those problems for you. So it's a normal flowing conversation. It's not this call center guys is calling you and just like, okay, we do this. Please go buy our services. No, it's a conversation that needs to go back and forth. And it needs to create some intrigue in their mind about how exactly you can help them or some problems that they have and they feel that pain of losing money constantly and they're thinking, okay, well, I probably need this solution. So that's what you want to be doing. You want to create that intrigue and schedule a follow-up meeting. Now for the follow-up meeting, then you go deep into their business. You find out all their pains and problems for exactly where they are now. And then you find out all their wants, needs and desires, where they want to be going. And then once you've built in the bridge between those, those two, current situation, desired situation, then you can pitch them, well, I can solve this problem for you in this manner. Or I can implement a process for you that's going to solve this problem for you. So you find out and you calculate the value that that problem is going to be for them. Meaning, if they are, if they are losing 30,000 Rand a month with this problem, that means if you can solve that problem for them, that's 30,000 Rand worth of value. Meaning that you can charge easily 10,000 Rand for that because they're going to get a lot more value from you solving that problem. So that's what you want to be focusing about exactly in that thing is that you want to, you want to just solve the problem first because now once you've solved that problem, you can then upsell them on your accounting services, on your compliance services, and you know, increasing their profit margins, implementing some more processes and systems to make them more profit after that. Because once you've proven that you know what you're doing and you've proven that you give results for your clients, they're going to be so much more willing to buy your other services because you've already proven that you know what you're doing. You've already created results for them. So to get your foot in the door, you need to solve a problem first. Then you go and you upsell on your accounting services. So that's just the way that we usually talk about cold prospects and we really try and get your foot in the door first without just coming across as one of those call center guys that just says, well, we do accounting services. Would you like accounting services? It's like, no, I don't want accounting services. So Stay away from that sort and start real conversations with your prospects. So I really hope this created some value for you guys. If you want to have a discussion about where your business is now, where you want to be going and how we can possibly help you get there faster or with some proven processes, please give us a, a um, schedule a call with us. There's going to be a description with a link to schedule a call with us. And then we can just sit down and have a chat about exactly how we can do this for you as well. So if this created some value, give us a like or a share. Otherwise, thank you everybody and enjoy the rest of your week.